Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I Love You, episode 24. My baby just went down for a nap, so hopefully he stayed down for quite some time. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping for an hour and a half or two. All right, let's go. I can't wait to see the look on Papa's face when he comes back from work. Uh, why is the door open? Nobody should be at home right now. Did someone break in? What should I do? Should I call the police or should I go? Oh. Someone's drinking. If father drunk. That's a lot of beer bottles. Uh, he must have drank himself to sleep. This room reeks of alcohol. Jeez, sleeping on his back after heavy drinking? If you guys don't know, especially if you're young and you should not have to be taking care of someone who is, you know, drunk and, you know, like this. But if someone is drinking so much and you put them to bed and always put them on their side because there's a chance of them like vomiting and they you don't want them to be you know facing upward because they can choke on their own vomit and suffocate and actually pass away so that's very dangerous so always put them on the side so if they do puke it would just come straight out to the side of their mouth yeah yeah and it's pretty scary Well, there are a bunch of letters behind him. So much happened today. Quite a lot to take in. <sighs> Those two brothers have some beef with each other. That much I know from the cafe. But... Uh, just forget all that stuff. It's not your problem to deal with. It's best I not meddle. Why am I st even still thinking about those two dingus this and right before I got go to bed too. Ugh. I've got my own problems to worry about. Jeez. I should go wash my face. Mm. <laughs> Ugh. Nope. Screw that. Smile more. Tch. As if. Why do people even say that? It makes you want to smile less. It doesn't feel right anyway. I will smile only when I have things to smile about. Previous balance. Payment received. Balance forward due immediately. $951. Account charges and credits include late fees of $15. Monthly charges of $1,250. dollars Water bill $21. Total current charges due by November. Total amount due. That much? Until then, I'll just be me. <laughs> uh. So, her dad's an alcoholic and he's in a lot of debt. Like, that's scary and it can suffocate a person into depression. And Kasuke, dear, you failed to mention how adorable this Miss Yu girl was. Her appearance may not be very refined, be that as it may. She is still very appealing. You mean, appalling. There have only been two girls you've ever mentioned. Meg, whom who speak of with scorn, and Miss Yu, you speak with an air of interest. That's where you're mistaken. I am in no way interested. I could arrange for you two to be married. Do you know of any asset her family possesses that may be beneficial to the company? Mother, please. Oh, calm down, my boy. I'm only teasing. You always take everything too seriously. All right, honey. But you're not going to stay single forever, okay? Your mother's right. You need to have an heir since you'll be taking over for, for me in the fu near future. On another note, when I come back from America, the Kims will be hosting a small form. 
Ah, uh, that's right. Expect a lot of women to be there, son. You know how Mr. Kim is. You don't have to interact with them, but please, don't bring your spray. Noel, will you be able to bring Alyssa? Noel. Is everything all right? You haven't touched your food. I I'm sorry, Father. I was just lost in thought. Will you be able to bring Alyssa? She'll be a great asset to bring with all the fame she's receiving right now. I don't know. How is school going for you? Top of the class like your brother was, I presume? No. College is only a few months away. You aren't skipping out on your studies, are you? It would be a big disappointment if you didn't graduate as valedictorian, or valedictorian like your older brother over here. Everyone's expecting a lot more from you. All you've achieved so far is attaining a famous girlfriend. Go easy on the kid, honey. He's trying his best. It doesn't matter whether he graduates at the top or not. He can attend any university he wishes with our help. Don't worry, kid. As for Alyssa, I think I can pull a few strings to assure she her attendance. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Like, it's great to have an older sibling that just like hits every mark as a perfect child. But to have that pressure on you is very unfair. But granted, I know his parents want the best for him. But also, it kind of suck because you can tell that his parents do can pull some strings for him if he wanted. Like, if he wants to go to a certain school, whatever, they can make it happen. And he doesn't have to work hard for it. Which is very unfair, you know, for kids who do work hard to be where he's at, you know. But I can see why right here he is frustrated. You know, father was wrong. You've also accomplished becoming physically fit. <laughs> Piss off, Kasuke. Why are you even still here? Just making sure you are alright before I head back. Especially after what was being said during dinner. You done with that punching bag? Well, any better? <sighs> Why'd you bring me back to my home? I thought you would force me to stay at the mansion for the week. I thought it'd be best for you to stay with your Nana for tonight. Especially after taking in all those harsh words from Father. I'm sorry you had to go through all that. Don't be. It's kind of sweet that he's being empathetic towards his brother. It's nothing new to me. I should go. I believe I have overstayed my welcome. I'll be picking you up from school every day this week, since father will be away for a bit. I'll be needing your help at work. I trust you will be compliant all week. I did fulfill your request. I bought your new friend food. I will. You have my word. Kasuke. Hmm? Thank you. Wow. Okay. You have a good night. No. I saw some kindness between them. Okay, so they're not all bitter and hatred and... Okay. It's kind of sweet to see that. But to have parents that put that much expectation on each kid is tough. I feel for them. My parents used to be like that, but now they're, they chilled out a lot. But I'm glad. Mainly for my siblings and I, like my sister really thought that she had to compete against me. And... It was a very hard thing to go through with her, um, mainly because I don't really feel the need to be competitive against her, but she did. But as she got older and, you know, because of that expectation, she became very depressed. You know, it was really hard for her, like, oh, why can't I be as equal or better than my sister? But I told her, like, like we are going through life 
like on our own path like you shouldn't not you should be on your path looking over and comparing yourself because you're never going to be happy because even if you beat me in whatever you know whatever category there are you're not going to be happy because then you're going to seek for the next person to compete against and the next person the next person and your life will never just feel fulfilled you know so once she realized that she stayed on her path and she seems to be better and a lot happier and same with me because there's no way i can look at someone and feel like oh i'm better than that person or i'm beating that person or i'm not or i'm beneath them who cares you're living your own life like i yeah anyways that's my rant about that Anyways, if you guys enjoy the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!